Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nala Pududu and this is the secret life of my PhD where we talk all things productivity, motivation, education and high performance. So today we are going to talk about appreciating, respecting or enjoying the learning process. Okay, and I'm going to use an example to explain what I mean by that. So um, I'm going to use a child example because I have kids. Okay, I have a little baby and she's learning how to walk now. So any chance she gets this person, she is like just trying to stand and she's always busy, like always busy. And the worst part is she hasn't even want you to hold her when she's busy, you know, because she's in control, you know, she can control herself, you know, all 11 months of her. So she's learning how to walk, learning how to stand. And oh my goodness, you know, it's quite busy in the house. And I think most of you know, I mean, you've been around babies. Most of us have been around babies. When they're at that stage of learning to walk, you cannot, you cannot contain them, you know? And what's interesting with babies when they learn to walk is I don't know how many times they fall. Like, like it's a daily bread for them. Like they stand and like they can fall 10 times in a day, actually, when they're learning how to walk. But interestingly, we never describe that process as oh the baby is struggling to walk we never use that, those words we never say they're struggling to walk we always say they're learning to walk right but let's juxtapose it against us in our careers and our studies um i remember with my masters in the beginning i had my proposal you know and it was really a proposal created that i felt like it had it could do a lot better but i didn't have much faith in it anyway but i had my proposal and it was doing a back and forth with my supervisor he had all of this uh improvements that he wanted to see and kept on giving me feedback and yet in that process i would describe it as i was struggling with my proposal i was struggling with my masters i mean even with my phd there has been times when i said i'm really struggling with this thing but um, when a baby is learning how to walk and they fall as many times as they do, we say that they're learning. So I think sometimes we miss it. Sometimes that's what we call the struggle is the learning process taking place. And I think one of the reasons for me personally, why I identify it as a struggle is because I am taking my fresh product, like if I take my PhD as it is right now, I take my PhD and then I go and compare it to published articles. I go and compare it. Um, so one of the things I have to do is actually read other PhDs that have been written, right? So I compare it to completed PhDs and I look at what I have and I look at what they've written and I'm like, oh my goodness, oh no, this is, this is horrible, right? And then I, I'm struggling. I don't appreciate the fact that, that these people have put in years and hours and a back and forth between supervisor and lecturer, back and forth, back and forth, until they finally got a good product. I believe that, no, what I have, I don't see it beyond what it is right now. I compare my draft with somebody else's final product. Imagine if a baby did that. Imagine if we did that for our babies. If we looked at our babies learning to walk and then we see an adult walking without problems running and think, oh my goodness, this baby is struggling to walk. Like, oh my goodness, will it ever happen? No one thinks like that. But we do it in our own learning process. And when a baby falls, it's not comfortable for them. In fact, sometimes they complain, they whine, and then after a while, after they've fallen many, many times, she just gets up and she continues. Like, she's not even bothered anymore. Like, oh, I felt, okay, I'm going to get up, right? So it is the learning process. So I think for ourselves, one of the things that we need to do is appreciate that learning process. And what does it look like for us? What does it look like for me, you know? Um, for me, it looks like there are days that are quiet. There are days where I read uh, an article and I don't understand everything in that article. There are days where I try write a paragraph, I try write a page, and I don't move forward 
with that page or I don't make the progress that I want to make with that page, right? It's not a struggle. It is a learning process. I will eventually get there. So it's about a changing mindset. I'm using the word mindset again, but it is a changing mindset to appreciate that naturally right now it's not coming easy, but if I continue on this journey, I will get it right. Why do I think this is important? There are so many ideas that we have, not just in um, research. You know, now I'm not just talking to research students or masters or PhD students. Just in general, we get so many ideas to do things. But a lot of the times, we take our fresh idea, our newborn idea that is learning to walk, learning to breathe, learning to survive. We take it and we compare it to an established idea and we expect our idea to be the same as that idea and what do we get we get imposter syndrome it's not because we're not good enough it's because we're starting with something new and when you're starting with something new it takes time it takes patience it takes nourishment so today i want us to respect the ideas that we have to respect the new babies that we are raising in our lives. Give them time to grow. Give them the nurturing they require. And on those slow days where we fall, where we pause, where things are not making the sense that it needs to make or they need to make, we appreciate that it is the learning process. It's not a struggle, it's learning. Learning by its nature is not comfortable. It's not easy. but by seeing it as learning, I can say, oh, but it's okay that I'm feeling uncomfortable like this. I am actually growing while this is happening. So respect your idea, give it time, give it your patience and watch it grow. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.